Okay, so in this question, we're given that this is f of z, where a, b, and c are real constants, and we're given that this has roots at t equals negative 1 plus 2i and 3 minus i. We've been asked to show all the roots of the function on a single eigen diagram. So because this is a quartic equation, we know this will have four roots, and we also know that roots come in complex conjugate pairs. We're given that the first root, z1, is negative 1 plus 2i. So therefore, z2 would be the complex conjugate of this, negative 1 minus 2i. We can take this one as z3, 3 minus i. So therefore, z4 will be its complex conjugate, 3 plus i. And we can show these on an eigen diagram. We've got our imaginary and real axis. So for z1, this will have a real part of negative 1 and an imaginary part of positive 2. So this will have coordinates negative 1 and 2. So we'll plot this here at negative 1 and 2. Now z2, so this will be a reflection of z1 in the x axis. And then z3 will have a real part of 3 and an imaginary part of negative 1. And again, z4 will be a reflection of this root in the real axis. Okay, so that's part A. For part B, find the values of A, B, C, and D. So the first thing to do when we have a question like this is to label the signs. We know the first sign, or the coefficient of x cubed, will be negative. Then we'll have positive, negative, and positive. We know this d term will be the product of the roots, alpha, beta, gamma, and delta. We know this c term will be the sum of the triple products, so alpha, beta, gamma. And this b term will be the sum of the product pairs, alpha, beta. And this a term will be the sum of the individual roots, the sum of alpha. And I want to show you how we can do this on the calculator to save time in an exam. If we label Z1 as A or alpha, B, C, and D, then we can work out each of these sums using the storage facility on our calculators. So if we go to our calculator, we need to go into complex mode. So we'll press menu. Complex mode is option two. We'll enter Z1, so negative 1 plus 2i. We'll press the store button and we'll store it as variable a. We'll enter Z2, so negative 1 minus 2i. We'll store this as variable b and then we'll store Z3, 3 minus i, and Z4, 3 plus i. So store and variable d. Okay, so now to work out the product of the four roots, alpha, beta, gamma, and delta, all we need to do to our calculator is to press A times B times C times D, and this will give us 50. We can work out the sum of alpha, beta, gamma. So we'll enter A, B, C, plus A, B, D plus A C D plus B C D and this will give us 10. And then the sum of alpha beta, this will be A B plus A C plus A D plus B C plus B D plus C D. And this gives us 3. And finally the sum of the individual roots which will be a plus b plus c plus d, and this gives us four. So now we can substitute these back into our function. So f of z will be equal to the negative a, which is negative four, but plus b, which is positive three, negative c, which is negative 10, and then the plus d, which is plus 50. 
Okay.